Okay, now that we have everything set up, let's just do a little bit of testing to make sure that we're ready to go. So you should have your text editor and Node.js installed on your computer. In order to do this, to test this, we need to create a file that we can run. So go to your finder or your, your folders and create a new folder and open that inside of your text editor. So I created a folder called tutorials and inside of that I created another folder called data types. And so open Visual Studio Code, go to file and open. And then you can open the folder that you need. So I'll click, I'm going to open the data types folder and open. Getting a little beach ball there. Okay, so now I can see that I opened the data types folder and I already have three files in here. It's really simple to create a new file. You can either right click and click on new file or you can click on this plus sign that has this little page right here. And here you can type in the name of the file. So I'm going to call this scrap.js. It's important that it, the ending, the file name end in .js because that means that this is going to be a JavaScript file. And I'm calling this scrap.js because I'm going to remove this in just a second. So in here, we're going to write our very first code. And this is just going to confirm that we have Node installed and that everything is working properly. So in here, I want you to write console.log and then quotation marks. Inside of quotation marks, you're going to type, it's working. And then at the end, I want you to put a semicolon. The semicolon is like the period at the end of a sentence. It tells the, co the computer that, hey, this is, um, this is a, an expression and this one is done. This is the end of the expression. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the first shortcut. On your keyboard, press Command Shift T. Now this is set up for a Mac and if you're on a, if you're on a Windows machine, you'll have to do this a little bit differently. If you're on a Windows machine, you can simply go to View and then scroll down to Integrated Terminal. Where oh, here it is, Integrated Terminal. And if you click on this, it will open this terminal. Now I want to show this to you because this is a very useful tool when you are trying to check if your JavaScript is correct. We can now run this file. This file has code inside of it. This is JavaScript. It says, hey, we're going to write this information into the console. This is the console or terminal. I use those two words interchangeably. And you can run this, this file. If I type in ls, it will, it will show me all of the files that are in the folder. And now I can run my scrap.js folder by typing or file node space and then the name of the file, scrap.js. And if this works properly, I will see it's working written in the console. It's working. And you can have fun with that. You can type anything you want. It's working. Hooray. Hurrah. And then I can use node and then the name of the file and it will run it. And you can type anything you want in here. I can type in 2 plus 2. And we can start looking at how wonderful JavaScript is. It will automatically compute whatever we type in there. So if this is working, we're ready to go. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. I forgot to mention the reason I wanted to, the one thing that I wanted to show you was that this terminal is the same as this terminal out here. It's very nice and useful to not have to toggle back and forth and it allows me to maximize the browser, or I'm sorry, my text editor so that it takes up my whole screen. So I'll show you that I can run the same command, node scrap.js, and I'll get the same output for as I do in here. They are the same tool, but this one is built into the text editor so that I don't have to go back and forth. So again, you can get to this by either going to view and clicking on integrated terminal that which is right here. Or if you're on a if you're on a Mac, you can press command shift T and that will open this up for you.